If this is the mall, right? <laughs> if this is the mall, and you you do the overhead, he's, he he goes like this, like when he when when he winds it up, he puts his hand down, but striking it, he puts his hand back up, so he's not using the mall range at all. What I would do is like. That's what I what I would do if I were a medieval guy having a big ass maul in my hand and being scared of fast one-handed weapons. I'd put it up and like put my both my hands way back at the end of the of the stick and go all the way down. So to to like increase the range of my maul. And I feel like uh the maul guy actually in chivalry should do the same thing. Welcome back everybody, Red Skull and Fridolin, kind of not interested at the moment, but we're back at it again. It's Monday, 5 p.m. and we're back with a new live stream, a new show for you guys. And today is kind of a special day, so I'm kind of excited uh, to do this. And as you can read in the title probably, we're gonna do a Chivalry 2 weapon tier list. I wanted to do this for a long time, actually. I was kind of hesitant to do it. But I think it's time now. It's our first time for me. <laughs> Making, like, a video directly from the stream. So, go easy on me. But I think we can do something good here. So, first thing, I don't want to do, like, a competitive arena, TDM, whatever, weapon tier list. It's more, like, a, it's more fun-centered, of course. Being viable and being a good weapon is a uh, is a big thing for a good placement, right? But we're not gonna go full sweat and put all the one-handers in S tier just because they're broken. And if you if you like kind of differ from my opinion, feel free to to ask or feel free to participate. We can always adjust the things on the fly here. So. This is not in any particular order, I think. We start out left to right, just let how they how they're lined up here, and start out with the throwing eggs. So this is kind of a hard one, as it's mostly a thrown weapon, so fighting with it isn't really incentivized. Having the Viking spirit, throwing axes all day long, is kind of cool. It's not really good to fight with, but it's at least it's. A lot of fun to chuck it into people's faces, right? So I think we're gonna put the throwing axes. I don't even know if we need D and F tier there, but we'll see. Right? Throwing axes. Great fun to throw. Big damage, especially on knights, because they get bonus damage to knights again. Like every axe and thrown thing probably. Nearly everything gets bonus damage to knights in this game. So we're gonna put it in. I'd say we drop it in. Uh, it's not as good as the javelin. And the javelin can actually be played quite well if fighting with it and not only thrown. So I'm gonna put the throwing axe into maybe C. Let's put it in C and see how it goes from there. Ha ha ha. Another another easy wordplay here. Put it in C and C. Okay. Um Next up, we've got the normal axe. It can be picked with a shield when you're playing man-at-arms. I think. Uh, it has this super crazy fast axe special. That all axes, all one-handed axes kind of have. The throwing axe and the pickaxe too. It's a one-handed weapon. So, for me at least, it goes way down <laughs> in the fun in the fun department just because they're kind of broken and not really functioning as they should at least i think so and a lot of other a lot of other players do think so too so x the slashes are nice you can do like full turns on a slash on a normal slash even paints are fast yeah we, we, can, we can't put it anywhere below the throwing x i think so x goes to b tier <coughs> Yeah, next up, we've got the Warhammer. That's actually the slowest one-handed weapon in the game, I think. Yeah, it is the slowest, but it has the most damage. Landing a heavy swing 
on a knight with the warhammer nets you 90 damage on a knight a knight has 175 health and that's 90 so two of these and the knight is gone it has kind of a long recovery phase but it's still a long uh a long <laughs> it's still a one-handed weapon so still pretty fast and it's just it's amazing bonking knights on the head with this thing and seeing them just explode. It comes close to Maul's damage on a knight for a one-handed weapon, which is way faster and can do some other stuff that Maul can't. So I think Warhammer has to go into the A tier. Probably not for duels. I don't see a lot of people dueling with it, but it's crazy fun and can be super good if you like invested time. Okay, next up. We've got the Polex. Polex is a kind of a controversial weapon. There are some guys around saying Polex, best thing ever. Some guys say I don't get the Polex, it's sh stupid. And I don't even want to use it. It has these crazy weird animations. And especially on morphs or feints as they're called in chivalry, right? When you go from overhead to slash or from slash to stab or from stab to slash or from stab to overhead or from overhead to stab, whatever. Right? It, it's kind of weird looking and you can do a lot of hiding your feints with the polex because the animations are so weird. I don't really think it's an A tier weapon if you're getting used to it as, a, as an opponent. You can still kind of know what the user's doing. The range isn't that great. The speed is kind of middle of the pack and the damage is just, yeah... It's no normal damage, I'd say. So we're gonna put it. I think the Polex has go has to go into B ahead of the eggs, but kind of behind the Warhammer, I think. Right? This this stream contains opinions, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, heavy mace. That's a web. Another kind of kind of iffy weapon here. Uh. So if you guys didn't know, the Heavy Maze has this, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's a whatever it is, uh, where at the end of a swing, there's like 0.2 to 0.3 seconds of animation that don't do damage anymore. So you're locked into the animation, but your weapon doesn't do damage, even if it hits at the end of the swing here. So that's that makes it kind of hard to just jump in and start using the heavy mace a lot it's it's very fast it does great damage against knight and footman and the damage against vanguard isn't too bad as well so yeah the only thing that's kind of bad about the heavy mace is it's pretty short range and the, the strange animation thing like locking you into a thing that doesn't do damage at all so i think we're gonna put it into the b tier ahead of the polex well hmm ahead of the polex or behind it i think we have to put it behind the polex just because of the jank and the, the not not really good slash animation so that's yeah let, let's put it there for now all right war eggs next big big s x big weapon slow but hard hitting swings overheads and stabs the step is kind of underwhelming i think it's not really good as with all the axes actually uh is there like a way to see no not really right you can you can pull this up okay so war eggs it's great it's great fun in ffa and uh, team objectives because you can just <laughs> behead three people at once or four maybe wait for a repost and turn all the way around and behead all the guys surrounding you does a lot of damage on the heavy swings and on the normal swings as well it's kind of slow for dueling but it's great fun it's really it's good it's fun so where do we go i think the war x has to go into b tier 2 ahead of the other two we had here ahead of the pole x and the heavy maze just because it works way better in the in the fun game modes right in arena and to and ffa and you can do crazy, crazy multi-kills with it. And it's fun. 
Okay, yeah. I think I think we're settling in here right now. Okay, next up. We've got the longsword. Longsword. What's the, what does the longsword have? The longsword has the best stab in the game. It's still kind of unreadable. Like, even after the nerf from four steps, it's still very, very fast. And feints do really look weird, kind of, with the longsword. Hey, Yusuf! Welcome back! Glad you're here! Uh, insanely fast feints. Insanely fast slashes. Good damage on slashes, overheads. And the best stab in the game. Uh, for me personally, it's not really as much fun. Like considering the TO and the FFA modes. It's more of a dueling weapon for me. So I think... The longsword. Yeah, best stab. Super slashes. You can do crazy, crazy... Can go crazy deep on the longsword. And it's kind of still the best dueling weapon in the game, kind of. I wouldn't even know what should be better. Maybe the messer than the longsword. It's great to learn the game. It's great to practice stuff. So I think longsword, even though I personally don't really like it, a lot, 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 big lot of people enjoy it anyway. So we're gonna have to put the longsword in S, right? I think so. All right, pickaxe. Pickaxe next. So the only thing... Well, actually, the pickaxe is just a reskinned axe, actually. Uh, the only class that has the pickaxe is the field... Oh, I'm sorry. The only class that has the pickaxe is the field engineer, though. And you do not get a secondary with it. So... You're gonna go and pick up a shield or find something else to fight with when using the when wanting to use the pickaxe. What make that's that's what makes it kinda meh in my opinion. Right? It's just an axe. Does the same damage as an axe. It has the same animations as an axe. But you do not get a secondary weapon or a shield with it. That's that makes it kind of underwhelming in my opinion. Right? So we're gonna pit put it. I think we're putting it in B, just because bonking people with a pickaxe is great fun. But it's it, la it lacks in all the other departments, I think. Okay, so we got we got these boys. Now <laughs> my my stick. The shovel. Where do we put the shovel? What do you guys think? Where does the shovel belong? Chivalry 2 shovel on a ranking. Considering fun and viability. Before the nerf, it would have been here. Like, at, maybe not ahead of the longsword, but at least fighting for number two spot with the longsword. But we got the big shovel nerfs two patches ago. Where they nerfed the speed, they nerfed the damage. And they kind of... They kind of busted my shovel, and I'm still mad about this! Start better! River shovel nerfs, please, right? Uh, it's still great fun. It has the bonks. It's still it's still one of the fastest two-handed weapons, if not the fastest. Let me think a little bit. The glaive is probably faster, but the glaive has no damage, kind of. And it's just annoying. Uh, yeah, so I think the shovel is still one of the, one of the fastest two-handed weapons. The game has it still does quite good damage not as good as before uh for duels it's kind of not as good anymore you can still go off in ffa and to modes with it because people just don't play it and no one knows what the shovel is capable of so bonks fast nobody uses it it's my love child i think we're gonna leave the shovel still in the S tier just because it's such great fun and still very viable because no one uses it and knows what to do against it okay shovel that's the shovel next up we got the sledgehammer it's kind of a better maul 
It's not as long as the mall. It doesn't do as much damage as the mall. You again do not get a secondary with it because like shovel, pickaxe and the sledgehammer are the field engineer weapons and the only thing you get with it are uh, bear traps or spike traps or barricades. Ah, oh, sledgehammer. Big bonks, it's fast, it's still... It's faster than the mall. It does kind of comparable damage. No secondary. But... But... Is it better? Is it more fun than the Warhammer? I... Oh, it's, that's hard to say, actually. Is the Sledge more fun and better than the Warhammer? I don't think so. No secondary. Well, oh, we're gonna have to put the shovel down in A, actually. Maybe, maybe we'll leave it up and move it down later. Okay, so... I think considering the fun factor... Because Bonks, the Sledgehammer has to go kind of a B tier, maybe here. It's not great. It's not super good. It's not insanely fun. But you can do quite funny things, comboing it with bear traps and stuff. Or waiting around edges where people can't see you. But I think we're gonna drop the Sledge into C, right? Considering it's fun. It's, it's Ah, I'm not sure. It's probably not better than the heavy maze. Let's let's put it here. Here maybe, like this, like this. It's not as fast. It's not as fun as the pickaxe and the axe. It's, it's kind of an eh weapon. All right, mallet, mallet. Uh, for you guys not knowing, the mallet is what the raider gets. The vanguard raider. Yeah, no, De Vanguard Devastator gets as a kind of a tertiary weapon when you pick the uh, the great sword and the mall. You can pick the mallet with it. It's got this great skin where it's just a, a rock, <laughs> kind of a gun shaped rock. It does great damage when thrown. It can be used to fight, so it has slashes and stabs and overheads, but very short range it's insanely fun to bonk people with these little things though so getting good with a mallet actually would be great fun i think um let's put the mallet where do we put the mallet you get two of these i think if i remember correctly right yeah and uh, yeah i don't think we can put it ahead of the throwing axis let's put it into c uh, the Felchin. Felchin is kind of, I feel like, the worst one-handed weapon, actually. Viability wise. It has some wonky, wonky feints. And it does, yeah, it's, even though it has some wonky feints, it's kind of the worst one-handed weapon. Like, not non-secondary one-handed weapon. If we put the dagger and the knife aside. Uh... I don't think it's great. You've got to put with a shield. <laughs> I think so too, Pascal. It's it's. Eh. It's got some cool skins, but it's it's not really great fun. Considering the opiness of the other one-handers, so I think we're gonna put the Felchin. Will it be our first tier tier? I think it will. Maybe. Maybe D is too harsh. It's like it doesn't have the huge benefits the other one-handers have, like the brokenness and breaking the counters. Uh, I think we're gonna put it into C. Kind of ahead of the throwing axe and the mallet. Once you get a shield with it, shields are... Kinda... Yeah, it's definitely the worst it has kind of a, a weird stab range going on where it, where it hits you even though there's no sword sticking into you but it's not it's not great and i don't think it's really fun yeah all right morning star this is another bonky boy if i were to play any one-handers i'd probably 
play either the Warhammer or the Morningstar just because of the big, big bonus damage against Knights again. Uh, it's super fast, the Morningstar. It's, it's, it's crazy fast, especially compared to the Warhammer, which is the other blunt type. Uh, the Warhammer and the Mace, actually, which are the other blunt type uh, one-handers. Uh, it's very hectic to play. So I don't think for kind of a new player or someone just learning the game, it would be as fun since you really gotta be fast with the with the Morning Star. But if you get kind of good with it, it's great. So, is it more fun than the Warhammer? I don't think so. The Warhammer is kind of a it's slow. The recovery is kind of long, but it bonks. Uh, okay, I put the Morning Star. Uh, do I put it in A or B? It's my first time ever doing something like this, so... <laughs> I'm kind of hesitant. Uh, it's great. It's super fast. It bonks. It's got those great bonk sound effects. And... It's the morning star. It's on the ambusher, right? So you get throwing knives with it. Customization, let me see. Weapons, one-handed. No, there's a war club and a hatchet and a cudgel. So that's not the thing. Okay, considering you do not get throwing weapons with it, I think we're gonna switch it a little bit back here. Kind of in here, I think. It's not as great as the A tier. I'm, I'm kind of hesitant, but yeah, it, it was my first, my first guess was A tier 2. But I'd put it behind the Warhammer, because the Warhammer is way more bonk. <laughs> the bigger the bonk, <laughs> the better the thing, actually. So we'll put, 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 take Maul and put it into S right now. Nah, I think, I think A is a good call, right? Yeah, I agree. Putting it in B would be kind of unfair. Alright, sword! Sword. <laughs> if, if you're just talking power level, sword has, has to go here. I think. But we're not. <laughs> well, it's still gotta go to S tier, actually. Because if you get good with it, you can, like, beat anyone with it. It's I think it's hard to get good with the sword, because, like, playing the one-handed weapons... You're gonna go and adopt so many bad habits just because you cannot be punished using those because you're too fast. But once the balancing will hit them, and I hope it will hit them at some point, because like TO and FFA matches at the moment, at least in Europe, are super dominated by one-handers and it's super annoying to fight against. I think it has to go to S. Just because the brokenness, but let's let's continue on, as you said, with the short sword already. The actually should be shorter sword, but it's kind of the same length, if not even longer. By the way, one-handed sword has more range on a step than Maul has on an overhead. We figured that out last week, so yeah. Also, is yeah, shots out even faster, even wonkier, even more breaking. Uh, like, okay, I think we're gonna turn down the fun, the fun volume in here quite a lot because it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to rank by fun because it's so, <laughs> it's so subjective, right? Okay, right. I, I, but I think we're we're sitting sitting pretty good here. I'd actually put. The short sword maybe even ahead of the long sword. If the really good, sweaty, super hard into duels players would go with a short sword. I think they could be even more dangerous than with the long sword. But no one's picking it because we kind of know it's getting nerfed at one point. I think we'll, we'll let it stand here. They're, they're, just, they're just too broken to, to kind of... If it gets severely nerfed, to not to not suck at the game if you make short sword and sword your main weapons. Okay. 
Next up, we've got the spear. This is the two-handed spear, right? Uh, I think so. Is there a one-handed spear in there? Burp, burp, burp. Nope. No! They forgot the one-handed spear. Give me an icon. Shit. Okay. Uh... Smallest to biggest. Yeah. Felchin is kind of way. Because it doesn't have the insane... The, in, the insane pros of the other one-handers. But... I'll leave the longsword here for now. Just because I think it's the best weapon to learn the game with, actually. Learn dragging, accelerating, spins, whatever you want, right? Land steps, land overheads. Do helmets even no helmets do not are just uh cosmetic so that's why none of my characters wear any helmets except the knight and i don't play the knight at all okay uh what do we do we do not have a one-handed spear icon i think we're gonna make this the one-handed spear and because the two-handed spear is it's good for to yeah uh, it's good for TO for the, the choke points since it only has stabs and this weird overhead animation that uh, this is the two-handed spear talking uh, but aside from like holding choke points and with dragging steps and aiming steps being so heavily nerfed I'd actually put the two-handed spear into D tier the first D tier just because it only has stabs every move except the overhead can be countered by a stab and aiming stabs is and overheads is kind of hard and not working most of the time in this patch we have the Q the special is kind of cool like you put it down to the ground right and and put it we'll, we'll get to the bow at one point Oli we'll see it uh but i th yeah i'm not i'm not sure with the spear i think it's gotta go to d since it's the range is the only thing it has like going on for it yeah definitely okay so we need to remember the two-handed spear goes into d the one-handed spear in my opinion would have to go way higher than d tier though it's kinda since it since it came back to the game. At first it was like people were kinda slow to pick it back up because probably everybody thought, oh well, it got nerfed so hard and uh it's not gonna be as broken as before anymore. But as with every day you play Shivery 2, you find a new bug, and uh people found kind of a lot of new bugs for the one-handed spear there's this one thing given the orange and a uh what was i on about right there's this one-handed spear you can do one of the emotes it's the welcome emote so I, i'm already spreading glitches and bugs again uh torn banner said i shouldn't do this but whatever game's broken people abuse it so why not spread it uh you can do the welcome emote and Q with the one-handed spear and it won't have any animation so uh, you get a uh, like what's it do 80 damage 80 or 90 damage for free because it's kind of not reactable with the one-handed spear Q and you don't see anything you'll just get hit most of the time it's still insanely hard to read for me at least I, I kind of I don't know if it's like it only has steps now so everything can be countered with a step too but going from one of the stab animations into the overhead is kind of bloop, bloop, does does crazy shit again so i'd put the one-handed spear uh way higher than the two-handed one is it better but oh, that's just one guy he's called j bob knob j bob and bob or something on the eu dual servers who plays only spear and he's actually pretty good uh so two-handed spear, two-handed spear, 
tier. <laughs> did, I, did I spell spear right? Uh, now we're doing the long, the one-handed spear. I think it's gotta go up somewhere here. Uh, somewhere into A. We'll have to put it in front of the Warhammer. Just because it's fast and insanely buggy again and hard to read. And it's it's fun to like shish kebab people. Gotta say. It is. It is. <laughs> it's not as fun as bonking people. But it's fun. It's got this crazy Q with a lot of damage. Yeah. I think so too. We'll stick it here. Okay, pole hammer. We get to the pole hammer here. Uh, a weapon that's not really used much. It's only on the footman, right? Only the footman has the pole hammer. Or does someone else has it? Does the knight have a pole hammer? Let me see. Nope. No knight. So it's only on the footman. Crazy fast release. Kind of long wind up, so it takes some getting used to. The stab is good. The overhead is good. It's a bonky boy with a pointy boy. No. Oh. Okay. Um. I feel it's pretty good. But it's not S tier. I'd put the pole hammer. I'd put it here probably. Oh, we we gotta we gotta turn the sh we gotta tune the shovel down when we go more into. We gotta put the shovel here, kind of. Right now, when we're talking more about power now, then fun. It's it's bonky and it's pointy. It's fast. It's kind of slow too, if you want it to be. It can do some wonky ass feint animations and it's a good weapon for the footman. So I think pole hammer set here. Probably. Prob probably. Yeah, let let's leave it here. For now. For now. We can always move it up. Good. Next, we got the Halberd. A weapon that was insanely popular somehow. During the alphas and the betas. And even after release for a while, a lot of people played Halberd. I feel like this has kinda gone down a little bit. Uh, it's probably because... It's kind of a good weapon for beginners. Because the swings are like... What? 200? 200, 210 degrees probably? So you start a swing and you... It's nearly full circle anyway. Without even spinning it. Yes. Um, it's not very good though. It's The range is kind of... It's too slow for its kind of short range, so there, there's a lot like... Restart. Doesn't do a lot of damage on the slashes. The stab is pretty good because it's long. The overhead is wonky as fuck. I feel like the Halberd overhead is even more wonky than like a lot of other overheads. And the damage is kind of underwhelming. Like you don't do a lot of stamina damage, you don't do a lot of damage to anyone. Does it get any bonuses? I don't even think it does get any bonuses. Uh, it doesn't have this strange animation glitch the Heavy Maze has. So I think we're gonna put the he Halberd better than Spear Overhead. D or C. Yeah. It's... It's tough. Ah uh, yeah, it, that's the Spear tier. It can be fun to play the Halberd. Like, you can do crazy spins and shit with it, but that's kind of advanced, right? So a new player right now picking up the Halberd and going into duels would be... Uh, is it better than the Falchion? Mm, I'd, I'd put it here, actually. Yeah. So do we put it into D? D or C, low C, high D. I think it's better than the two-handed spear, right? Because it at least it has something else than stabs, and you can do the can do a Beyblade cosplay with it. So let's maybe put it put it here, probably. 
little bit ahead of the melee than the throwing axe. Yeah, I, th I, I think that's... That's a place for now. When the cudgel! Another boinky boy. Very fast, you get throwing knives with it. It's kinda too short in my opinion. We got one guy on our dual servers, he's called Dicht wie ein Wicht. Uh, maining the cudgel. For his, his thing. He doesn't throw his throwing knives, he just fights with the cudgel. He's kind of good actually. Sometimes I lose to him. But it's very, it's very fast. It has some bonks. But everything else is kind of underwhelming with the cudgel. So, uh, considering fighting, it has to be somewhere close to the mallet, I think. But the mallet at least does way more damage when thrown. So I'll put... Uh, I don't like the halberd here, but... It's so beginner friendly, right? The halberd. It's like... Ah, let, 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 let me think about this for a bit. I think the cudgel is placed kind of good here. Doesn't do as much damage as these when fighting. It's faster, but... Eh. Alright, okay, hatchet. Another axe. Another one-handed axe. Just like these two. Uh, can be thrown for quite a lot again. But it's another short boy. Another short, very short weapon. Uh, crazy fast, but uh, I don't, I don't feel like. Maybe, maybe C ahead of the Felchen. Oh, I think so. I think we're gonna leave it. Leave it here. Well, so I think we're gonna adjust the pickaxe too. Put it right here when we go more power oriented. Yeah. Maybe leave it like this. I'd say it's more C. More C tier than Sledge, but higher than Felchin. All at least. Because it's another one of those fast one handers. Alright. Dagger. <laughs> dagger. Who gets the dagger, by the way? Uh weapons. Dagger. It's yeah, it's one of the It's one of the Ambusher weapons again. Vanguard Ambusher. Um Super fast. You can kind of surprise people with it and stab, 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 stab them to the face. It's got good stabs, fast, fast feints. It lacks the range though. It's more of a surprise weapon, like whip it out. Whip it out against someone that's using a maul and stab them to death. Very fun. Hey, sim card. Yeah, it, it's it's great, like, getting the jump on people with the dagger. So I think we're gonna go a little bit higher. Maybe... Maybe like this. Mm -hmm. It's more of the... Sneak around and stab people in the back. Backstabbing is always fun. <laughs> it's like... Back, back, bonking, backstabbing, killing archers. And doing some crazy drags, that's like the most fun things in the game actually, <laughs> for me. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it here, just because the, the backstep's good. If you don't get the backstep, I don't feel like you can do a lot, right? Maybe against the maul, or some of the really, really slow weapons like a war axe, or the maul, or the executioner's axe. But I think it's... Should, should be kind of here. Like middle, middle of the pack seat here. Considering the mallet and the halberd and stuff. Okay, knife is kind of the same thing, right? It's more tertiary. Uh, does knife get backstep damage? I'm not even sure anymore. I don't think, right? The knife... The, the, the ambusher doesn't have the knife. He has a dagger or a short sword or a cudgel. I think at least. 
It's kind of hard. Okay, but I think... Knife's gotta go D tier. Two-handed spear tier, as we call it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, yeah, let's leave it here for now. The Glaive! Fastest two-handed weapon the game has to offer. Very low damage on everything, actually. Slashes, overhead, stabs, it doesn't do a lot. It's good to kill vanguards and archers, because it's fast. You can do some crazy axles and spins too with it if you're if you're kind of good. I wouldn't put it into A, but yeah. So A A is off the charts for the glaive, I think. Uh, it can be great fun, but I feel like for the TO mode and FFA mode, it's gotta go behind the war eggs. The Warhex has these huge drags and you can do great, great amount of damage. It's probably better than the Polex and the Heavy Mace. I feel like this is this is kind of the spot. For duels, I'd put it ahead of the Warhex, like duels only. Just because fast is most of the time better for duels. But considering all the other modes as well, I'd put it right here. Okay, that's my that's my boy here, right? The two-handed hammer can be picked on the knight, can be picked on the raider, vanguard ra the raider, yeah, it is raider, and uh, the footman. No, the footman doesn't have it. Po fo footman is the pole hammer guy. So you can pick a knight with it, which always is kind of a good thing. Agree. It's not the best at all. It's very it's very good. It's got the big bonks. You can do some nasty drags. Maybe we'll see some of these later. The axles are kinda good because release is nearly instant. Like the wind up is kind of long. Release is super fast though. It's, does great. It's my it's my night killing weapon. So I, I use the two-handed web hammer mostly anymore when fighting knights. Which is a lot of the time. But. Uh, faring up against all of the other. All of the other weapons. I'd probably put it here. Better better than Warhammer. Because samey damage than Warhammer. Uh, very similar in speed. But more range. I think we're, we'll, we'll set it here. Like kind of high A tier. Alright. Everybody, everybody's favorite weapon, it feels, still. <laughs> it's kind of, the Messer has been a very, very controversial weapon. Like, since, since release of the game. Me Messer tier. <laughs> Messer tier. Nah, we, we can't, we can't. It's like... It still feels kind of cheap to use the Messer because a lot of people are still on the on the hate train for the Messer even though like the steps got nerfed uh, like the, the animation got longer but it, it definitely has to go into S tier I don't think it's as good as the longsword or the other swords for this just because the longsword step does way more damage and it's kind of faster yeah, the, the slashes are very samey, but the longsword just has the best stab in the game, and you can, like, do all this crazy shit. Messer is a very, very good beginner weapon again, because you can, again, learn everything the game has to offer. Drags, axles, feints, uh, crazy crouching techniques and spins and stuff can all be done with the Messer. And it's a pretty safe weapon. Can be played with the knight again too, which is kind of like most people's, at least most beginners' favorite class, I think. But a lot of a lot of very good players play knight as well, right? Not to put you down or anything, but uh, so before the nerf, Messer would have had to been kind of in front of the longsword, but now it kind of has to go behind the longsword. If we consider fun, I'd put it here. But the other, maybe like this. 
Is it in front of the sword or behind the sword? Like short sword surely is a little bit more broken. But the normal sword is not as crazy. I think I put the messer here. Yeah. Only only really big messer mains kind of use the messer anymore. I think even I put it out of my loadout now. It was my fight really hard player's weapon. I'd always go two-handed two-handed hammer messer when dueling, but meanwhile not so much anymore. So I think we're safe putting it here. Still S, it's still a very good weapon. Lots of damage, lots of crazy stuff to be done, but it's not close to the to the brokey boys or to the longsword, which is just the most versatile and uh, kind of uh, learny weapon anyway. Okay, Danex! Danex, my, actually my favorite weapon of them all uh, was kind of looked down too for a time just like the messer because people were like ah oh, they next throw one shots knights bad but the uh, throw has since been nerfed and it doesn't one shot knights anymore you can still one shot archers if you hit a headshot with the day next throw and you get two of them if you want so i put it into high high a or even s tier again because you can do some wonky feints and uh, hard to read stuff with the Dane. And the throw is crazy good. Maybe even ahead of the Messer. I see loads more Danexes than Messers around actually at the moment. At least like in duels. And uh, FFA modes. And things. What's, what's the other thing called? Arena. Arena. The one we're not talking about. Uh... Yeah, I think it definitely has to be S tier still, actually. Gets bonus against knights and footmen. Small bonus, but anyway, bonus. Super good throw. Good Q. Sprint attack is kinda meh. But all the other attacks are actually super good. The overheads are very fast, the normal overheads. Yeah, I think the NX gotta go here, kind of. Messer, Messer got nerfed. Maybe before the Messer nerf, I would have put it like this, but after, I think Danex probably better. Considering, like, throwing isn't, isn't like, uh, <laughs> a lot of people's main strategy. Alright, Maul! Maul. Fun. Fun. If it was a purely fun tier list, Maul and Shovel would kind of be top tier, right? You can do... The crazy, the rainbows, and super, super duper long drags. And if you get shoulder to shoulder with your enemy, the axles aren't nearly as bad. I found out during my solo duels the last week over, but... But... Most, most weapons... Against most weapons, you will not really get a big chance to shine on the mall except if they're like charging at you while slashing and you can get a big bonk in against them before they're even close so if you're spacing pretty well and maybe the enemy is afraid but against the same skill the su player with any other weapon actually than the mall you're probably going to lose I'd say it's 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 very hard to play. It's super duper slow. But it's it's very fun. Like getting hits, getting those standing Q mall one shots on knights. By the way, it one shots everyone. Standing mall Q one shots everyone but vanguards. <coughs> uh it's ve it's very, very fun to play the mall. At least in TO and FFA, when people don't really know what counters are and, and how to get in and jab. If you don't get jabbed using them all... Yeah. Yeah, it's like... And the damage isn't even as good. Like, the Warhammer has comparable, com <laughs> comparable damage to them all. Nah, not even. Probably has to go kind of here. B tier, low B, low B tier, probably. 
it's very very fun if you get if you get those bombs in but it's so hard like the range is shorter as i said in the beginning like the the sword has more range on a stab than the mall has on an overhead and this is kind of crazy to me right if i what do i have like if this is the mall right <laughs> if this is the mall and you, you do the overhead he's, he he goes like this like when he when, when he winds it up he puts his hand down but striking it he puts his hand back up so he's not using the mall range at all what i would do is like that's what i what i would do if i were a medieval guy having a big ass mall in my hand and being scared of fast one-handed weapons i'd put it up and like put my both my hands way back at the end of the of the stick and go all the way down so to to like increase the range of my mall and i feel like uh the mall guy actually in chivalry should do the same thing so i hope we get some mall buffs in the future if the mall gets anywhere near competitive level buffs like uh speed increase range increase maybe or just uh increase the stamina damage it does especially against one-handers because i feel like sledgehammer does yeah the animation does too like the mall animation does too but when when swinging it down he puts its ha his hands back in in this kind of grip but the sledgehammer the sledgehammer does too on the on the on the on the normal slashes as well he like puts his hands way back all, all the way back to the grip and just swings it so I don't really understand why they didn't make the same thing for Maul happen. If they can't make it for Sledgehammer, why not for the Maul? But yeah, <laughs> we're, we're not animators, right? So I, I feel like, yeah, Maul. Maul kind of has to go here. Maybe, maybe nah, the heavy maze is, is way too fast to put it behind the Maul. Even with the, with the wonky ass animations. Okay, great sword. Everybody that pre-ordered the game got this super, super cool, actually, Zweihander skin. Which is kind of the best greatsword skin there is. Uh, it's crazy good, actually, for FFA and TO modes. If you kind of know how to use it, you can do super cool spins with it. Uh, there's still... I'm sharing another bug, guys. Go write it down there's still the thing in game where you can like bunny hop your way to instant great sword specials i don't know how to do it but <laughs> pe people know how to do it just just not me uh you can go super fast or you can go super slow with the great sword the st the, the range variation is kind of kind of weird at first but you can play around that a lot like overhead with crouching and looking down or overheads with looking up and not crouching you can, you can really play the range on the greatsword or you can get get up close and excel it super fast i think definitely greatsword has to be well maybe not here it's the two hmm. it's either here that's a one-handed spear right yeah we, t we said one-handed spear uh i'd actually no to to put down the bias against the bonks a little bit right <laughs> i like the bonks but i also like the greatsword very much i think we can put it like here actually i think it's good 300 200 oh, but yeah it, it's kind of hard to use it first compared to longsword danex messer and pole hammer well, pole hammer is kind of hard to use too but i feel like greatsword greatsword definitely a tier but i'm not so sure maybe if we switch these guys around maybe like this maybe even ahead of the pole hammer now nah, pole hammer has the the crazy fast release and recovery probably like this i'd probably do it like this it's hard to say right the spear the spear is this wonky ass buggy 
buggy mess kind of still it's got great range great great spins you can learn a lot of it a lot of stuff with the great sword but yeah ah spear one-handed spear probably here probably like this i probably put it like this great sword maybe even better than the two-handed hammer yeah it's like they they're very it, it's not like even s to a tier at least until here right until this point in a tier they're very very close that's like so actually the balance is pretty pretty good aside from wonky shit right like these three so they, they're very close and i feel like it's kind of uh a lot of the stuff here is due to preferences too okay yeah i, th I think we'll leave the greatsword right here right now i don't think it's s i think the pole hammer can do more crazy weird stuff and it has bonks and the spear is just yeah i i, I think we'll leave the greatsword here right now executioner's eggs a weapon i don't see at all anymore kind of sometimes it's well it, it gets used a lot in ffa but i don't really play that anymore because ffa has gone from who can farm bots the most to who can stand in spawn the longest and farm respawning players i feel like that actually was kind of a downgrade <laughs> to be honest with all the invisible guys still being around and stuff well not anymore yeah in in, in ffa and to it's a lot it really is it's very very slow you can't do some cool drags with it axles accelerating your swings is kind of meh with the executioner's x big damage big range though cool skins too to be honest it has some great skins like the curved curved whatever for me it's yeah it, it does comparable damage to them all with more range and faster a little bit than the mall so it it has to go at least into b tier but maybe here in front of the heavy maze because the heavy maze has this weird animation going on but no more damage to be done thing going on at it right now if the if the heavy maze animation would be fixed i'd probably even put it in front even of the of the polex probably but it's kind of weird so yeah we we got this going all right i think yeah middle of the pack b for the it's definitely good in to because it got wide swings heavy 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 damage slashes with a big arc and can go super slow but it's not gonna go higher all right war club Ooh. Another very, very fast two-handed weapon. It does a little bit more damage than the Glaive, I think. And three other before are able to handle slow weapon fight really well. Yes. Executioner's X is another one of those, like them all, where you've got to work very, very hard in a one versus one fight where you're up close to your enemy and you don't get the spacing. Like him running up to you or something. That's another one of those weapons you have to work very hard to win, like a one versus one situation. Okay, War Club. I think the War Club is actually one of the most slept on weapons at the moment. Like, barely anyone uses it. It's not really good for the TO because it's just blunt. Yeah. <laughs> it, basically, it is fast. That's his deal. That, that's like... That's like the deal it has. It doesn't do great loads of damage. You can catch a lot of people on guard. We we got uh, what's he what's he called? He's called Gilgamesh. That's one of the. I haven't seen him around long. That's one of our duelists here in EU. But he was crazy on the War Club. He was actually kind of the guy that really got me into duels. I went into the duel server and kind of beat everybody around because most of the very good players weren't around at the time except for him and he was 
He's a War Club main. He only plays War Club, I think, since release, even in the beta, probably. And he like, he he had he has this strange fighting style where he constantly backdash and he he'd keep you on the tip of his War Club, like he'd he'd use the range to the fullest potential, and you you'd never get in on him. At least I I couldn't at the time. I don't know how I, how I'd fare against him now. Because I don't think he plays a lot anymore. I probably know how to how to beat that thing right now. But so th that was actually very impressive for me, at least seeing this. I think it's very slept on for duels. It's not great in FFA and TO just because it's blunt and doesn't do a lot of damage even on the heavy swings. But it's great, it's it's super fast. And uh yeah, you, you can do a lot of spacing games with it. I'd probably put it like back here. The Warhammer is it's not as fast, but it does way more damage. With of course shorter range, but Okay, Battle Eggs. Uh Battle Eggs. It's kind of kind of the same as the War X, I think. Uh it's just a... The battle axe is the warrant pendant on the vanguard, right? Yeah. <laughs> I still act dumb on the battlefield a lot, though. <laughs> it's like my my main shtick. It's like running into a lot of people. I, I can't get that out of my head. Especially once I see an archer, I get this like... My field of view goes like this once there's an archer in my, in my view. And I... <laughs> and I completely... Totally have to run up to the archer and bonk him. So yeah. I think like map awareness and, and getting out of sticky situations is something we all can constantly improve upon, I think. Okay, yeah, I like okay, bad legs. Uh probably here. Is there any difference between the war axe and the battle axe ex except the class that has it? I don't think so. It's like the same thing, just with a different name, I think. Yeah, get uh, get up, get really close. Is it shorter than the War X? Like, I know this, the stat screen is, isn't is even working, right? Stupid stuff. Gets used kind of a lot, like in, in, in TO modes. I see a lot of battle and War Xs. But I think we're gonna put it here, right? Warwick's just a little bit ahead because the knight has it. Mm -hmm. Okay, faster. Faster. Yeah, it's, I think you can kind of exchange these, right? Let's put the let's put the battle axe up front because it's faster. And fast at the moment. Faster most of the time means better. I'm sorry for all the looking down, by the way, but uh, I've had to kind of switch my setup around a little bit because my my stand broke for the chat thing where I, where I'd normally look up to read the chat I'll have to look down now so just so you know I'm 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 not looking at the floor I'm looking at the chat when I do this but I hope until Wednesday that's fixed Okay now we got the shield the medium shield uh the only cool thing you can really do with a shield is like the yeah, we, we definitely have to adjust these two, you're right, on those. But I think we can leave the pickaxe and the sledge here. But... It's like, all you always have to consider they don't get the secondary, right? That's That makes them way worse, actually. Like, kind of like this. Maybe. Because not having a secondary is, is awkward. But yeah. Uh, I, I think so, too. Like, shields... Shields and stuff. You can't really rank these. Compar comparing them to other weapons is hard. Yeah. It's it's pretty much the same, right? That they're pretty interchangeable. I th yeah. It, I have to put my love child down a little bit there. <laughs> okay, like, yeah. Uh, shields. We're gonna do shields. Uh, 
Uh, and then we gotta do uh, other. We'll do other. Okay, like shield. I think that medium shield is better than the heavy shield because you can do the Captain America thing, right? Like throw it at someone and catch it back out of the air and throw it again and do the same shit again and again. But other than that, shields aren't really good and don't really have a use except if you're like really fighting a lot of archers with archer limit not being a thing at the moment the heavy shield is kind of meh it doesn't do like the medium shield jab does more damage than the heavy shield jab i think and you can throw it and catch it back out of the air so that definitely makes it a little bit better i don't consider the weapons you get with them now just the shields by themselves right uh the three deployables like archers get the spike traps, right? Spike traps has to have this nice insta kill thing going on where if you kick someone into them or they jump into them with a special attack and don't instantly destroy it, they're instantly dead. Uh bear trap, you only get one. Yeah, that's like the only thing the heavy shield can do, right? And it blocks a lot of arrows. Like easy. Easy arrow blocking. What, which is kind of harder with the medium shield because you can still shoot into someone's foot if he's aiming the shield a little bit up even in the torso but yeah uh all right so deployables i think the spike trap actually is the best deployable we have just because it has this nice insta kill thing going bear trap you only get one and i think you can't even uh resupply them like if you place another one the first one gets destroyed instantly so that's kind of bad i had some fun like building <laughs> putting two barricades in a, in a choke point you know in, in like a way and putting the bear trap right there and then hiding behind my barricade crouching and if someone steps into the bear trap you bonk him on the head with the sledgehammer that's kind of fun works pretty good on rotten on the stage where you have to push the siege ramps it's pretty fun actually you can can do some <laughs> can get some laughs out of this but other than that bear traps are kinda kinda meh like they don't really have a use they're very hard to place if you're not placing them preemptively like placing them placing them during a fight is super hard because there just has to be like a pebble on the ground and the bear trap will not be placed again so yeah, meh. Bad trap, meh. Barricades are a little bit better. The problem with barricades is they're on a timer. Like if you put them up. Yeah. That that's yeah. Like bait people to step into bear traps from choke points. That's like mm. the only way to really, really get use of them. Uh yeah, right. Barricades, you get two of them. But they're on a timer, as I said, like I don't know the timer exactly, but it's it's. I don't think it's good to have these on a timer. They should either, because they don't have a lot of health, right? And you can even, like, if you put them too close to the objective, for example, the fire on uh, Coxwell, people can get a torch through the barricade. Like, they don't have to walk around it if you put it too close. That's why you always put them a little bit further away from the thing you want to protect. So they, they don't have the range to get uh, to get the torch or pull the winch or whatever you're trying to protect with the barricade. Yeah. But other than that, well, I think these are kind of interchangeable, right? I think spike trap is definitely the best because of the instant kill potential and bear trap and barricade can kind of be like exchanged with each other. Like they both have very limited use all right uh throwing knives you can't fight with those uh they're throwing they do they do good damage you get seven of those i think when picking the ambusher and or three if you're picking the night class uh throwable only kind of like kind of like here probably uh, the mace is like the last one-handed weapon. I put it slightly behind the Morning Star, just because of the cool factor. 
Oh, four for knights. Okay, I, I was around three. But it's just one. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's nice to have. But... Uh, I, w I wouldn't even put them, like, so far down. Maybe here. Switch the cutchel up a little bit. Okay, we're nearly done. Uh, but we'll have a, a re a re look at this bow. So, what do you guys think about the bow? Where should the bow go? I want to hear your opinion first about the bow now. <laughs> We're gonna do. The good thing is that you still have your primary equipped. Yeah, so you don't have to switch completely off it. The javelin is missing too, right? So it's. The tear maker doesn't have them all. I, I'd put the javelin actually kind of higher than the throwing axes. So we're missing crossbow, javelin. Can, can you just add things to this? No, not really, right? Mm, sad. Yeah. So I'd agree on the javelin being somewhere in B tier, like a little bit higher than the throwing axes and of course higher than throwing knives. Yeah. It's a little bit slower, I think, animation wise, but javelin's great actually. You get the small shield. The small shield is, no, is not on this list too. Like, I just realized there's kind of a lot of stuff missing on this. But the small shield is actually the best shield. <laughs> because you can even more reliably throw it and catch it again. And it doesn't have as... But it breaks pretty quickly. But you don't block your vision so much with the small one. And that's kind of it. Okay. Uh, B, C tier, crossbow A tier and javelin B tier. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, of course, yeah. Javelin definitely somewhere up here I'd, I'd, I'd really put the javelin into a tier the bow i'd agree on bc but high up very high up in b actually uh especially with the uh oh it bugged out right now there's no archer limit right the archer limits bugged as so many other things are too <laughs> you can have infinite archers kind of at the moment I've seen like a lot of matches lost in, in TO because like uh, especially one comes to mind on the new on, on thing on Galencord. Yep. Definitely true. Tough to aim. Good speed. Average damage. Yep. Dam damage is worse than the crossbow. It's harder to aim than the crossbow. Uh you get I think a little bit more arrows, but that doesn't matter anyway, because you want to stand back and shoot uh, from afar. Like, I know what I have more often have. No, uh, yeah. Isn't, but I feel like every time uh, I play TO, I feel the difference between the console archer and the PC archer. Like, running up to people, uh, zigzagging and crouching and, and doing like the, the fancy dodge moves while they're trying to aim at you. More often than not, the console archer will hit me while the PC archer will miss probably because I'm moving so erratic. The lock-on is crazy good, the auto aim. Like at least uh, middle to close distance, the, the, the auto aim is crazy good. Uh, I put the bow, as I said, I put the bow high C tier, high B tier, or maybe low B tier. Yeah, let's let's put the the bow low B tier, and the crossbow would definitely be somewhere here, considering in at least in A tier, at least one one tier higher than the the normal bow, because it's way easier to aim. Uh, the the speed, the speed is similar to the bow, like the reload speed. Uh, you do this kind of this ducking thing when reloading the crossbow, which more often. Then once someone just by accident dodged my swing by reloading his crossbow, so that you got that kind of going for you. And crossbow, of course, gets bonus damage tonight. Let's do A plus crossbow. 
uh shields other all right do we have to adjust anything like halberd meh dagger dagger's great fun and can backstab a lot long sword short sword sword danix messer up in s tier pole hammer one-handed spear great sword two-handed hammer very close Warhammer, War Club. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. I'd probably switch the War Club with the Warhammer. Just because it's so fast and you don't have to take a shield with it. But I feel like these three are okay. Then we got Battle Axe, War Axe, Glaive, Pole Axe, Executioner's Axe, Heavy Mace Maul. X and the field engineer weapons. Is it fair to have these in here? Like the shovel is definitely still the best field engineer weapon. That's that's definitely true. But are they B tier? Low B tier? Ah, uh, I, I I'd actually say this is quite quite accurate. So. What do you guys think? Should we switch anything more? Maybe put up the card shell a little bit, but I don't really feel feel that thing. It's just too short and the other one-handers are way, way better than it. I think we did actually quite a good job at this. Like some things, of course, you can uh, switch a rule and turn around. D tier only two handed spear and the knife. But I feel like I feel like Albert bug me off. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Throw it out. It's it's an it's kind of annoying to fight because the arc is so big. But once you're used to that and if you know how to jab, like a Halbert will kind of never ever be like if you if we're talking same skill level enemy again i don't feel like the halberd can do much against any other weapon maybe against the mall because it's faster but you'd still need a lot of hits with the halberd kind of Alrighty. okay so probably probably move it a little bit up like here Bertrand still has the one-handed thing going up, going up for it, but it's not as bad at least. Like, the toilet, you've got the best ideas, right? And I actually would kind of want to move this thing a little bit up. <laughs> we, we kind of agree, right? Uh, I'd say so, right? Yeah. Better than throwing X and Mallet. But worse than pretty much any other weapon in the game. Uh, anything else? I'm actually quite sad. So I think we're good. I feel I feel that's fine. Alright. I I'm happy with this actually. Uh if anyone else disagrees or something, you can message me. And we can talk it out or something. But yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Pretty, pretty confident this is kind of accurate at least. 